Oh, man, guys, this is this is ridiculous. I don't know what's going on. It, even like this update hit, and then like Google Chrome doesn't work now. That's weird. Let's see, control panel. Let's go find and fix problems. All right, I'm going to go to find and fix problems, systems and security. Fix problems with Windows Update. Okay, here we go. Troubleshooting an administrator. Okay, we're running it in window. We're detecting problems in Windows Update. We're running like the troubleshooter guys. Um, what would this mean? Windows update components must be repaired. And then it says fixed with the little check mark. Does that mean it's all fixed? That's what I would assume because of the check mark, but I would have no idea. Updates. You so silly. I know, I know, effing bomb. But that's basically what fixed my computer. And now those same updates with Windows 8 are what's breaking my computer. Let's see, issues found. Windows update components must repair. Repair Windows update components. Fixed. Potential issues. Default Windows update data locations have changed. Issue not present. Potential Windows update database error detected. Issue not present. Okay. Uh, Windows update components must be repaired. One or more Windows update components are configured incorrectly. Says it's fixed now. Um, also, potential issues, default Windows update data locations have changed, uh, potential Windows database errors detected, none, those issues aren't present. I'm not sure. I, I really don't know. This is so crazy. User joined your channel. What up, Doja? Whoa, Windows 8 is screen tearing now. That's your problem. Huh? So that's all the problems you're having with Windows 8. Oh, but yeah, you told me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been dealing with this for a few months. I'm actually thinking about going to Windows 7 now because of all of these damn problems. Did you Probably try the 10 upgrade? Huh? Did you try the 10 upgrade to Windows 10? Oh my god, I'm dropping frames like a fucking champ right now. Because you can upgrade Windows 8 to Windows 10 for free right now. And we can do that Windows right now? Goes, it's been like that for a couple months now. But, um, no, yeah, I mean, has the Windows 10 been optimized and set to come out right now? No, it comes out in like a month or something. Ugh, but you might, be, you might have less problems. But, to be honest with you, I know people that have had problems with 10 with games too. Like ESL and stuff. But you seem to be having not just game problems, but like overall computer problems with it. Yeah. And it's a driver's issue, which is the craziest thing. I, I would just go and go back to Windows Seven for yeah. that. I, I give Win, I give any kind, I give Windows like a year, year and a half before I even upgrade to them. <laughs> well, with just ten sure coming out, they've problems. cut off seven. When ten comes out this summer to be used, they actually are quitting anything with seven. So when that new game comes out, you won't be able to play it. I'll be able to play it. Windows 7 will still work, and they still sell it. So, I mean, they may stop. They may yeah. stop updating. Support. Yeah, they're going to stop updating it. Well, I don't but care. I, mean, I haven't updated it in, 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 like, a year anyways. 
Yeah. Doesn't mean game companies are going to stop, you know, making yeah, no. games that support it, so. And they'd be stupid as hell to do that because I'll guarantee there's a shitload of people that are staying with seven. Yeah, I'm gonna well, probably well, why, go to seven. Well, why choose something that you're gonna have more problems with and save something that? You're yeah, gonna I don't do it. <laughs> yeah, I have less I've been doing that since one. Windows 95. Like I, when Windows 98 came out, <laughs> I gave it a year, you know, and then I got 98. XP came out, and I gave it a year. <laughs> really, this like says hardware, like, hardware issues not detected, issues found, it's not detected, <laughs> like. It finds him, but not the next time. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? We found your issue, but we're not detecting the problem. <laughs> yeah. Like, this <laughs> makes no goddamn sense. Let's do that. Like, when I, at first, when 8 came out and I heard and found, you know, seen that it was like a, more for like a, an and, more for like a, uh, tablet or you know shit like it that. Really it really is like it, 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 it looks like they just ripped whatever they use for their Windows phones and then just stuck it on a computer. It is. That's exactly what they did. That, that's exactly it's, what it looks it's like. An to Android. Me. They basically wanted you to be able to like use your phone, your tablet, your computer. They wanted everything to work on the same operating system. So that way, whatever you were doing on your phone, you just sit down at your computer and you're like, oh, okay, I was doing this, and it's already pulled up. That's what they wanted Windows 8 for. And it's fucking like terrible. What up, Nova I Odin? I am having some have serious freaking issues. Yeah, you're back online. I'm having millions of fucking problems, like, guys. The, 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 Look at this. Like Look at this. I just... Set up an account Hardware changes might not have been detected. Detected. What? What is it? Like, I think I'm going to call Windows tomorrow. Because I've done everything they want me to do on their website. And besides, oh, finding a dump file. Guess what? I don't even have a dump file now. I don't know where it is. And the way they want you to go about it in Windows 8... I don't have one. Well, you have to get to a certain point in the whole troubleshooting thing for it to make that dump file. Yeah, but Windows 8 says go to your mini dump file. There isn't one on my computer. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh, man, because I know how it is. To, now, to I did. I did everything, and Windows is just like. Oh, yeah, you're going to yeah, go to go this tab, seven, you're going to go into computer, you're going to go to Windows, and then you're going to have a mini dump file. Well, when I go to Windows, let's see, you're supposed to be able to open up mini dump and then select everything in it. Um, this Windows 8.1 computer doesn't have anything. Nothing is going to that mini dump. It either is not happening or it's going elsewhere and the computer isn't finding it at all. <laughs> that sucks, man. Yeah, I'm gonna be, be building another computer here, and then I'm gonna get a setup like my buddy, and I will actually get Windows 10 for my for this computer that I'm using now. Cause oh, I'm I just use it for all my other shit. I honestly just go Windows 7. You you can't go wrong with Windows 7. Well, I want the but what it is is because I'm gonna have this one run into a monitor that's gonna be right next to me with touch screen. I'm gonna get a touch screen monitor for it. No, no, no. You you can't go wrong with Windows XP. Can't go wrong. Well, no, no. that doesn't have touch screens. I, I, it was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> but the machine I'm running. It's is, Nova. It's, it's not desktop. because I refuse to use yours. I don't have it anymore on the desktop. I've, I've actually had to reformat like three times to get things to work, and I don't have it again. Could you PM it to me so I have it, so I could use it? Also, a lot of a few other friends and streamers are are looking into using it. Using what? Windows Seven again? Oh yeah. I wish what I could the... send you a copy of mine because I had a buddy go through and. What up, Blood Crow? I'm having so many damn issues, man. Like, look at this. Look, I'll do it again. Resolving problems, right? 
Troubleshoot completed. We found problems. Like, do these companies just find whoever to program their shit for them anymore? It's like getting so shitty. Um, I think this guy literally just, I think whoever made Windows 8, who, whoever the programmers are, did something to make it look pretty, but they were like, yeah, it, you know, they don't know it's not going to work. And, you know, people using it are only going to use it maybe once a day. So any problems that come up, they can deal with it. Like, that's how I feel right now. I'm, I'm super pissed off. Yeah. yeah, Master Toby, yes, my computer is not fucking working again. We've had this computer out to I buy power again for a month. I've been having Windows 8 problems for nine straight months, if not more. And everyone says, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Guess what? Windows 8 fucking sucks. It's broken. I have to buy Windows 7. I don't have the money for it. I, I'm I'm sorry, guys. I invested you know twenty five hundred dollars into computer parts so I could play badass games, and then I was like, hey, I want to stream too, and now I'm streaming, and you guys love the show, and now I can't fucking do anything. I think that's why they allowed people with eight to upgrade to ten early. It's because how many people were eight, hating eight point one. Yeah, blood curl. I can check my fucking toilet and find my dump file there. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 at the Super Bowl, bros. It's at the Super Bowl. Don't forget to fucking flush. Why is it blood curl in team speed? I don't know. I don't know. He had himself a knee day today. Master Toby, you don't understand, man. It, I've been, I started, I, technically I started streaming like August of last year, August or September. Then I, you know, I ordered my computer in July, got my computer, you know, right at the end of the July, August, and was like, hell yeah, cool, you know, everything's going to be great. I played on it for a week. Graphics card went down. Had to send the whole rig out to iBuy Power. Took a week to travel there. Took a week for them to test it. Took a week for them to send it back. Got it back. Had it for two days with a new graphics card in it. Had to send it back again. Lost it for another month again. Got it back. Got another graphics card in it. Same problem happened for t after two weeks of running it. Then sent it back out again. I literally had my desktop for one month out of the four months of problems. Then started streaming December 18th. I don't know what they did, what Windows did, or what iBuyPower did, but oh my god, it worked for three straight months. March comes around, an update forces my system to update, uh, even with it turned off, because they were critical updates, they say. And then I run right back into all of my same issues, and now I've been crashing randomly at every moment I click with my mouse button. And I can't do that to you guys. You guys didn't want to play on the laptop anymore after seeing what it was like for a month, and then when we finally got the desktop back, everything is smooth again. And it's just like, well, okay, Windows, make my computer work. Okay, I buy power. Figure out my damn problem. I've been, I've, I've given you guys my computer more than you guys than I've actually played on it, and that's becoming a problem for me. Twenty five hundred dollars, guys, worth of hardware. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Master Toby. Like, I'm not mad at you. I'm, I'm really upset with what's happening with my PC when everyone is telling me that my computer is fine. <sighs> I don't know if they allow you to revert to... Like, I even I, I even bought a Windows 8.1 reinstallation disk, and I got all my drivers for my motherboard, and I have drivers for my graphics card. I have drivers for everything, and then it's like, 
Oh, well, your, your drivers are outdated. Okay, well, I installed the new ones. Oh, well, uninstall all your drivers and reinstall them again. They, they installed badly. Okay, I've done this for iBuyPower about a dozen times in a row the same day. Still got the same problems. Still having the same problems. The drivers are either configured bad or all of a sudden my hardware's bad. Well, iBuyPower said my hardware is good several times. And now it's just the drivers? Well, I've talked to them. They said all of the drivers should be in working order. We don't see any problems when we have the computer. It's only when it gets to your house that we, you have problems. So you must be doing something to it on the computer. Uh, yeah, so that's and it's like, no, 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 no. Have you not been seeing my stream? Have you not actually talked to me on the phone? Have you not actually seen the problems that I'm having? I mean, what is this problem? Problems found. Hardware changes might not have been detected. Well, it's detected. Okay, well, let's look at the view detailed information. Hardware changes might not have been detected. Scan for recent hardware changes. Detected. Issue present. Issue not present. But what's the problem? It's completed, whatever that means. Uh, like, it's still a problem. That little yellow thing, that's a problem. But yet it's completed. How is it fixed? It's not. It's hard to find the 10 upgrade and see if that might help. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Like, I'm, I'm livid with this bullshit. Like, I've been dealing... Like, Blood Crow knows firsthand, personally. He's been on Skype with me off of our streams trying his best to help me fix these problems and it's insane how many things we've run into and i found so many fixes that aren't working now like there was an update today okay i installed it now all of a sudden i have screen tearing across all of my monitors and i'm constantly crashing but then when I go through the fixes for Windows, they're like, oh, um, guess what? Just go back to your restore point before the update and then don't update. But then you guys tell me it's a critical update and then you force me to update or force me to not, you know, use my computer. I can't get on the internet. I can't run programs. I can't do anything. Thank you, Windows. Like... They're talking about fucking paying for Windows 10. Yeah, Windows troubleshooting is worthless. Yes, it is, Xanth. Like, I'm losing my mind here, guys. I Like, does There's anyone know anybody it. at Windows personally that could help me here? Because I would, like, you know, kiss your fucking feet to fix my computer. And I hate feet. Try the Windows 10 upgrade. It's the best thing I could tell you. Unless you got a 7 disk room. Like, I don't... I'm, I'm at a point... I'm afraid to turn off my stream because I know you guys want to be here and I know raging out is like one of those things that people will make, watch to make fun of it and criticize people. Like, I get it. But... I need help with Windows 8. Like, it's Windows 8.1. I need help with Windows. I've done everything. I've gone to their website and done their troubleshooting. Why should I find a mini dump if my computer isn't making a mini dump file? Why should I, you know, go to, you know, another website that it's a third party that Windows says, oh, use them. Let them check it out. How come Windows doesn't have this? How come Windows doesn't have that feature? How come Windows can't fix your fucking problems? Like, this is some serious bullshit. Blood Crow, you found some stuff about partnership. That's a fucking awesome. What good it's going to do when my computer can't stream. Yeah, I know, and I figured, oh, well, let me guess, they're going to push Windows 7 to get Windows 8, 
and then they're going to force the updates, and then you're going to be forced into Windows 8, regardless if you bought 7 or not, because then they're going to, like, force your computer to not work. No, they're not doing that. Like, that's immediately what I assumed when I bought it. Because then no. they told me, oh, my God, this is some bullshit. Like, it's a custom PC. We know it works. We've done this for three straight months, like, amazingly. But one update ruins the computer forever. Like, I don't understand this. I don't. Is it maybe that I wrote to my hard drive one too many times? It Could it be, could it really be that? Could it be too many clean installs? I, I don't know. That shouldn't have anything to do with it. The way, the reason why I got, literally guys, the reason why I got Windows 8 was like considering the fact that games were like not being supported. Like I thought of Windows Vista when I got, when I ordered everything and it was like, Oh yeah, you can't use anything on Windows Vista when it first came out. Nothing is supporting Windows Vista. You got all those sweet games. Well, guess what? Oh, if you got Vista, you can't do shit. Well, that's what's happening. And then with that's how I feel Windows. now. That's how I feel now. I was like, if I get if I get Windows Seven, those new games are gonna come out, and I'm not gonna be able to play them because they're not gonna be supported on Windows Seven. That's what scared me, and I was like. I want a computer that can handle gaming for like the next 10 years. Well, then Windows 8 should take care of that. I didn't expect Windows 8 to have so many goddamn problems that, oh, wait, there's Windows 10 next year? Like, I didn't hear of Windows 10 until like this year, like fall of last year. Dum dum, get no gum gum. After I'd started school. What up, Blood Crow? It's probably the best thing you can try right now without having to get a Windows 7. The only thing I can honestly say, dude, um, I know you actually had your games run at one point. We need to figure out, was this very last update of Windows that started fucking up? Um, just this past update, but before this, without the stream running, I was actually running Dirty Bomb with no problems. I turn on Dirty Bomb today, and then my computer's constantly crashing. Now, no matter what I do. And it's like, okay, I went and turned off the settings that I was supposed to do because of this. And I made Windows, I reinstalled the Intel chipset drivers that I was supposed to that just came out for my motherboard. And now everything's working. But now that's not fixing the issue anymore either. And my computer is saying there's nothing wrong. It's just all of a sudden my resources are being used up so much that I can't play a game. I can't load into the internet. Like, I can't load up a page to look up any information. I can't do anything but this. I can talk to you guys on TeamSpeak, and I can I can stream to you guys with my webcam. Like, help me. Because I, I can't do anything else. Um, Master Toby, my computer, apparently Windows 8 is set up that when you first install it, it doesn't have dump files. You actually got to go tell the computer to start creating a dump file. I've done that already. And even better, the computer's not creating a dump file yet because nothing is apparently wrong. We're just, you know, losing display. <laughs> for yeah, anywhere yeah, from 5 to 30 problems. seconds while the monitors are all black. And then eventually my computer rig is just going to sit on, running at full blast without anything going. It's like a crash happened, but it's not shutting down. It's not restarting. It's just sitting there. And then I have to hold that power button in order for it to work. Easy. Yeah. Oh. No, what am I going to tell you? Let's Thank you, Nova uh, Odin, for sending me the team speak. Yeah, madness. Way, on April 14th of last year, right? I'm just now reading some uh, information. I'm trying to see if we can find a uh, update list and see if we can downgrade your windows. 
But April 14th of last year, someone did a review, and I could send you the full link. I don't feel like reading all of it. But um, it's saying that uh, Microsoft confirms it's dropping Windows 8.1 support. Go figure. That's that's why they had. That's why they're giving everybody the ten, the free ten upgrade from Windows. Well, I guess they're doing it for Windows Seven too now. Yeah, Windows Seven and Eight and Eight Point One. If you guys want to upgrade to Windows Ten, you can do it for free. One year for one full year after it comes out. If you don't upgrade within that one full year of it coming out and being released for free, basically then you have to pay for it, and then you know you have Windows Ten forever. I'm just staying with seven. <laughs> Me too. I, I had, like, that's what I was trying to tell you, Anthony, when you first got it. I kept, like, I'd asked you, like, seven times or probably more than that. Are you sure you want to get Windows 8? And I know one of the times you said, well, it's already on the, the, the phones or whatever, something you was referencing to, maybe the tablet or something. Uh, but I kept telling you that Windows 8 was shit. I knew it was shit. I've had a lot of people tell me it was shit. It was even worse for gamers. I mean, it totally yeah. just fucks everything up. Uh, let me see if I can find something for you. The cheapest way to get Windows, any Windows, is an OEM, usually. Because uh, I've never had a problem with Windows 7. Yeah, like I said, I usually get Ever. any newer Windows a year or so before I even consider upgrading to it. Just like you said, that shit happened with Vista. Like, like I'm looking at chat. <laughs> like, I have DeepBot running. I can see chat. I can interact with you guys. That's the cool thing. It's just like it's. I can't do anything else. Like, I, I'm afraid to open SubAlert because my computer will crash because I've got SubAlert open. I'm afraid to open up anything else on my computer because my computer might randomly crash from like running as administrator like you know how the computer screen the display flickers to click that little menu tab my computer crashes because of that let me check another team speak for a buddy of mine if he's on he, and if he can't figure out what's going on then yeah something's really really wrong if it was something with Windows XP or Windows 7, I could help you, but I refuse to learn Windows 8 because I hate it so much, which is not something good for someone like me who wants to go into IT, but I fucking hate Windows 8, dude, with a passion. I really do. All right, sorry, like, I'm sorry, guys, in TeamSpeak, if I was, like, super loud on your guys' end. It's just, like... This has been the downfall of my stream, and blood, like I said, Blood Crow has been here trying to assist me in every way possible, and we're oh, still goodness. having problems. Yeah, we've done installs, we've done backups. What do you have thing... to do to get to 10 upgrade? That's what I'd recommend trying. Let me try to go to 10 and see if that fixes it. I don't know it for It looks like you have... It's not you can still get the upgrade. They've, they've, I know people that have done it for the past few months. Well, they probably I owed it. So. I think you got to email them and ask for it. Well, do that if you should. Let's see if I can turn on Google Chrome. Here you go. Uh, here's a link, Anthony. I'm not going to put this in the chat because this is a really fucking long link. But click on that. <laughs> You'll see why. Click on that, and uh, from there, it's pretty much, uh, that's the sign-up free upgrade offer. That's the sign-up for email. I guess that's for, for, is that for the email? Yeah, so that should be the email you use to, to log in. You have to have a, a freaking Windows account, evidently. But, um, but you have to have that for eight, I think, anyways, too, so you should have all that. Yeah, because honestly, Sorry, dude, babe. at this point, the only other thing you could, account. It's yeah, the only thing you could really do at this point is like freaking buy Windows 7, and I mean, that, that that's like the only other thing I know that that could be done at this point because, yeah. How much is the Windows 7 disc? An like, OEM version for just say a home, which is pretty much all you'll need. Honestly, yeah. I've got the professional, but it's don't really get anything extra out of it that, you'll really, that I even I even use. 
Um, it's like the cheapest one I'm looking at is like a hundred bucks. I'm trying to see if I can find a cheaper one. Yeah, I I don't even have a hundred bucks, guys. Like I looked at PayPal, and I have something like sixty bucks in there. Like I don't even have money in my bank account. Like I have everything set up, but it's just fuck. I got Dow Restore discs for $20.99. $20 I'm going to I'm gonna ask uh, some of these guys oh, here, here in the Grin and Militia just, real quick. I'm going to go ask Grim if he has a copy of the OEM for Windows 7. Well, here's Windows 7 Professional Full Version Retail Box $67.99. Oh, Microsoft Windows 7 Home, $60.85. Yeah, but how many times can I use it before it stops working? It'll never stop uh, working. Yeah, that, always. It'll always work. You, like I have to do, sometimes if I uninstall and reinstall, uninstall and reinstall a lot, um, sometimes I'll have, sometimes I'll go through some bullshit like having to activate it or getting a key, but that's about it. It's never, you know, too hard. There's to a shoot. link in TeamSpeak. $60, 60 85 I did Xanth, I didn't even get any errors. My computer just started crashing again and using up so many resources. Like when the computer starts up, apparently Google Chrome is already being used. Like right now I'm looking at Google Chrome trying to close out and it says not responding. I click the close, you know, close programs tab and it's just sitting here trying to close out the program but nothing is using it. You want nothing. Delete? Yeah, I used the task manager already. And it won't it won't close off the task manager. Where did you get your what, copy of Windows 8? From the vendor. Like when I built my Microsoft computer, it came computer? with it came with the Windows 8.1 reinstallation disk when I picked it for and all this my stuff computer. It was happening after auto updates. Yeah, after every update I have several problems. But and you've then, got no type of certification errors or anything like Because it seems like you got a bad copy of Windows 8. No certification errors or anything. It's just like, oh, you, you reinstalled Windows 8. Okay, fine. No problems whatsoever. I put on a pro I put on any one given program and they're like, oh yeah, installing anything can make the drivers go bad. So you have to uninstall all your drivers and reinstall all your drivers. No, well, no, okay, yeah, that, thanks, I buy power. Because um, Windows 8 should emulate the drivers even if you don't have them. Yeah, and it does. And then it's like, oh, well, your graphics card drivers don't like Windows 8.1. How is that possible when I need my graphics card to play games? Right. And then, like, uh, Dirty Bomb never had screen tearing. I go to play it today, and I've got screen tearing on all of my monitors. It's glitching out like I'm using up all of my resources. It's like I'm playing on my laptop, and my graphics card is saying, nah, -uh, nope, can't do it. I don't have enough power. Like, that's what's happening with my desktop. And I Sounds have a like badass. the worst memory leak ever. Yeah, it's the worst memory leak ever, and I have 32 gigs of RAM. How? And you bought the, the, the PC pre-built from some company? No, it's custom built. Like, me and Blood Crow did it. And then, like, I was like, he was like, do you want to put it together at home? Or do you want them to, like, run, you know, put it together and then, like, run the tests and stuff on it? I was like, I have them. And, you know, it was a small fee. It was like 100 bucks. I was like, for the money I have, we paid half of my budget. And I'm going to have them put it together. Fuck it. I don't, I don't want to have time for that shit. Have them put it together. And they did. And I got it and was like, sweet. Everything ran great. And then I started running into problems, realizing, like, as a caster, things I had to look look for and worry about. And right, my they hardware... They their work. That's why you keep sending it back to them? Yeah. Like, the graphics card I had before this one, 
not a single problem ever and then out of the blue it just can my computer started crashing like i didn't even have updates on it just started crashing one day for no reason and then it was like oh you want to play a game click crash but you want to use the internet oh we'll let you run the internet if you choose a game however your computer's just going to crash and i was like okay well windows or i buy power do you guys know what's going on no do you guys know any way to work around this no is there any way to fix this no we just take hardware out and put it back in like what that makes what do you mean you just take hardware out and put it put new stuff in and, and then everything just fixes itself but now this recent part where it's crashing with everything was after you tried to start that other game a little bit ago because i remember you were playing the life is strange or whatever for a while yeah we got through life is strange just fine and then i was like okay well we got through life is strange and i'm waiting on the big playthrough like i'm waiting on the big replay playthrough um with episode five like when it's completely out we'll go through and i will like i will spend a couple of weeks on it just like going through every possible scenario with the community that's not a big deal but then we decided okay dirty bomb or world of warships i was like and eh, you know you guys voted equal on both and i was like oh fine i'll go dirty bomb you know i've been playing a lot of world of warships i i want to i want to change it up a little bit for myself you know for today yeah and like yesterday i had the issue where i didn't get to stream until late i didn't get to stream at all until late in the evening it was like two in the morning and I spent six hours working on my computer because all of a sudden my internet provider basically lost internet. My internet provider did. Not me, my internet provider. So when my internet came back and we had basically been resetting it like every 20 minutes to see if it was, you know, if it was the power, if it was the cable line, if it was like I had to take out all of my plugs and air, you know, air blow them out and then plug everything back in. It worked at like 1.32 in the morning, and then we started playing Windward because- Oh, I see what it's a problem is. What? You got all those Blizzard games installed on your computer. I see Hearthstone, Diablo, Battle.net. I've never I, had a problem just, with any of these games. I, that was a joke, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, joke. Like right now, I'm no, so upset. Jokes right. just aren't happening for me. I know, and I, I apologize. I, but I've been. I'm. I'm with you. I understand, man. I've been there with gaming. Uh, gaming's been. Have I rebooted since Dirty Bomb had the tearing? Um, like six times, guys. Like basically, when I said, "Okay, well, I finally, you know, I got, I got the settings for Dirty Bomb to work. Okay, we're gonna play." Well, I was like, I don't want to stream to you guys if I can't have chat on there. Like, my biggest go-to thing is being able to have chat. You guys see when your message pops up on the screen, so you know when I got it. And that way, I'm, you know, responding as it happens. And you guys see that. Because without chat, you guys are very much a part of the show. So when it goes on YouTube, you guys see what questions are asked and me responding to them. That's a big part for me. It's huge. And if I can't have that, you know, the way I want it, I'm not going to be streaming. And you guys understand that. But now it's like I can't do pretty much anything again. I'm the only one that uses my PC. My wife has a laptop. I actually have my separate laptop for school. I set up my desktop just for streaming and video games. Like, I, I'm afraid to even surf the web on this desktop. Like, me and Blood Crow sit and have conversations, and I'll start asking about links that he's sending in Skype. I ask questions before I even look at a link. Like, what is it? Honestly, be real with me. Like, what am I going to be looking at? Is it a picture on Facebook? Because that's fine. Is it, is it, like, an article? Then where's this article from? Like, I don't like take using this computer for pretty much anything but games. Because I know how touchy software can be, and this is why. This is my biggest problem. And Blood Crow understands because he's been here through every single bit of it. Oh, I know, dude. I've been gaming since, like we were talking about before, back, way back in the day. And troubleshooting's always been a part of gaming and networking and all this. 
But yeah, what you're having, it just seems like it's Windows. Yep. Shit, back when I started playing at the, that land place I used to play at, 32 computers networked. Oh my god, troubleshooting, keeping computers seeing each other and the games running right? Oh man. Back when there was only like TC or ICP or what, what is it called? TCP IP and IP and shit like that. All right, Xanth, what's up? Give me your question. Like, look, Google Chrome is only using 2.5 megabytes. It's not even using computing power anymore. Look, I'm going to end task it. Oh, look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six Google Chromes. There's six more Google Chromes open. What? Where? I didn't click Google Chrome more than once. Xanth asked how many monitors you're running. I have three. I spoke with oh, yeah. Power and I picked their brains. And I asked a million questions. I said, okay, who's the what tech kind of person working... I asked them about my AMD R9 290, and they said, you should be able to run all three of your monitors, play the game on the highest graphics settings possible, and stream, and currently with the fans that you have in your PC, you shouldn't overheat. Well, guess what? That graphics card does not overheat. I even installed more fans just because I was having overheating issues in the past. I, I you know, looked out for the better interest of my PC. And now I don't have an electrical issue either because you guys helped me raise money to get the uh, UPS unit I have. It's an APC product. So I'm using an uninterruptible power supply on my desktop. So now we know it's not an electrical issue. I buy power cleared it for the fourth time that it's now not a hardware issue. And the fact that I'm streaming and I asked a million questions, they even put it through Extreme 95 and they tested everything they could for two days like non-stop and said everything checked out clear my hardware is not broken or malfunctioning and that everything is in working order however they went through and tried to replicate the problems that i'm having they couldn't do it but when it gets home just out of the blue my computer crashes and i start having all these problems Yeah, laptop stream hype. That's probably what it's going to be. And the weird part is, is the laptop is running Windows 8. And uh, even worse, it's not having any problems, but I can't really play much of anything but World of Warships at like 10 frames a second. And then I can play like a few low quality grade games like Prison Architect and Earthbound, but that's about it. And then you guys won't have webcam, you won't have chat, I won't have anything on my screen but the game, you'll be able to hear the mic, like, I like the display I have, I love it, but you guys won't get to see any of it if I have to use the laptop, and that's a big problem, because quality on Twitch is extremely important. Have you gone to your MS config and seen if something's starting up and running that you're not seeing in Task Manager? And that's what control prompt. Uh, just go to run and type ms config. Startup. Open task manager. What is this console thing for Windows Eight? C console con host. That's what I'm saying. Get rid of any of that shit you don't recognize. Well, that's the thing. Uh, 
I basically haven't really installed anything, even with the clean yeah. install. And if I have to clean install again, that means we lose everything again. I'll plug in my external hard drive in order to save DeepBot information at this point, and I'll like re-download my pictures from the uh, from my current camera roll. But everything else, I would have to re-download again, and the problem now would become. Uh, how long is reinstalling going to take? Because I spent six hours doing this last time, and when I finally got done, you know, it was like four in the morning, and I wouldn't be streaming at four in the morning. But I got on anyway for like one to two hours, and then was like, thanks for showing up. I got to go. I'll definitely chill with you late night. I'm always up way later than everybody else on board and alone. <laughs> I'll be right back. It's just, it's it's really just, as a streamer, I'm afraid to run into more problems again, get put back to the laptop, and then, like, you guys are gone. Like, that's, as, you know, as we're starting out, that's what I'm always afraid of. Yeah, hey, Anthony, I just typed in that, um, that thing I just sent you. And it pulls like everything, which is pretty cool. What, the event viewer? Yeah, I mean, I knew about this before, but I didn't know those actually had a key. I have days to go through folders or whatever, last time I found it. But, uh, yeah, you right click on the know. Windows icon, and it, sa it shows it right here event viewer. Like, I'm doing it right now. And then, let's see, was it custom view logs? No, Windows logs. Mine don't do that. Mine opens up Windows Explorer. All right, let's let's look at the event viewer local. Let's see. I've got one critical in the last hour. Two errors in the last hour. Six warnings in the last hour. Seven hundred ninety-three are information and fifty-two audit successes. Kernel power system. What is kernel power? View all instances of this event. What Errors. I would probably do, I would probably take those files and go, look, here's everything. Cause your computer to crash a couple of times. I hate to say it. Cause your computer to crash a couple of times. Find the log files for those days. Say, look, these are the errors I'm getting. Can you decipher these? Send those to Windows. Now, look, I've tried this. Well, I've they want that, you to this. take the files and put them in a zip file and then put them on a third party cloud application and then Windows said they may get around to it. That's exactly what's on their website. Wow. That whenever they get to it is whenever they get to it. I don't want it to be a whenever they get to it. I want to be able to like be, hey, Windows, I'm having fucking problems. Here, take this information. Give me a window of when you're going to check it. If it's a week from now, then let me know what the hell's wrong and tell me how to fix it. I mean, I can do that with any warranted part here in my house. I send it out to a company. They review my product find out what's wrong with it after troubleshooting it. They see what's wrong. They fix it. They send it back to me. I buy power says we don't do software. We do hardware. We don't see anything wrong with it when we try to run anything on your computer either. So we don't see anything. We can't help you. And now that's it's come to a point like, well, hey, Windows, um, fix this stuff. Really? There's an auto sensor? I didn't censor anything. It auto oh, yeah, yeah. There's an auto sensor, guys. Um, I don't need, like, all sorts of craziness on my channel. Like, I understand you guys are cursing, and I can kind of just, like, throw words in, and I get it. Like, like here's one. Xanth, did you really just censor shit after saying shit, Nova? Like, or, or uh, yeah, did you... Because I looked at it, and it's like, fucking life mate showed up, but no matter what, blank happened. So, like, you figure it's the exact same curse word, but it didn't censor itself. And it's like, hey, um, look. that's awkward. Check it out. Actually, let me post this in your chat. Hold on. I'm watching Annabelle, too, on uh, another monitor. 
Um, let's see. Let's see what some of these are. All right, I double-clicked an error from the 14th. It says, session failed to start without the fo with the following error. 0xC0000000D. Well, that just means my computer's being a dick. All right, what's that error code again? Um, 0xC... Six zeros and then a D. Like, guys, I have no internet. Nothing will load up for a browser. And I'm afraid to use Internet Explorer on this PC. I'm back. Okay, yeah, you got Event Viewer open. That was my next, rec next recommendation. Oh, yeah, and check this out. Uh, the system rebooted without cleanly shutting down first. This error could be caused if the system stopped responding, crashed, or lost power unexpectedly. Well, I ruled out lost power unexpectedly because we have an uninterruptible power supply. It's not going to happen anymore. Crashed. My computer does crash and stops responding. My computer just randomly out of the blue stops responding. Like, let's see, 3 on the 14th. 3 on the 15th, 3 on the 19th. At some point today, we're going to have another loss in response. Well, well, it can also, you can get that loss of power thing, like you're saying, when it lagged, when it completely, like, lagged out and you had to, you know, hard boot it with the power button. Yeah. That, that's also a loss of power. If it was in the middle of doing something that was just taking forever. Yeah, and, and that's the thing I don't understand, like... I, I hate my life because it's like, do I want to clean install and then try and load back everything up? And then all of a sudden, if I load up one game or one program that I've been using on my computer since the very beginning, it just all of a sudden Windows 8 decides to start having problems with it again. And then I start crashing again just because a driver or something Windows 8 just catches, just isn't supported. Like, I spent four hours updating the last time I did a clean install. Four hours. And I just, I let it do its thing. And I didn't install nothing on the computer. I installed Jack. Well, maybe, maybe do your, do your format and reinstall all that stuff. And try, and if you can, turn off uh, the automatic updates. See how everything runs with it, base. And then if everything's not messing up, wait till 10's out next month and upgrade or for free or buy Windows 7 is what I would honestly recommend when you can or <laughs> until I can just get be done with 8 and 10 and tell. yeah I like I already know I'm gonna be done with 8 for the simple fact that if the Windows 10 fixes the problems that I'm currently having fine but I still want to buy Windows 7 as the last resort for what's going on with the PC yeah exactly <laughs> Because I, you're not the first person I've, you know, known that's gone through this type of shit with Windows 8, and that's the common denominator with all this, all my buddies and everything that I've seen and heard about having problems with their games. Oh look, the driver detected a controller error. Device hard disk two DR2. So my other hard drive is now having problems. I would attribute all that to Windows. I mean, I wouldn't go any more further with your hardware problems. Like you said, you, you had those people work with it and all that, and your hardware is good. Hardware is real easy to tell whether it's working or not. So, I mean, it's all software. And half of these problems could be, you know, the hardest part would be finding what the actual initial error or the initial problem that caused all of it. And if you had a hard disk error, I'd honestly believe none of this would work. You wouldn't be able to be streaming. You wouldn't be on TeamSpeak. Oh, it'd still work. It just I guess it depends on the, the, the drive he has it on. 
I have two external. Have I have two hard drives for my PC. I have a backup, basically inside my PC that I. Ha it's clean. There's nothing on it. If I reinstall Windows on that as well, basically I'm going to come through all these same problems. I've already done it, and I buy power says nothing is wrong with either of the hard drives. Let's see. Windows issues. How do we fix this? Playing on Windows 8.1. Here, Anthony, here's something you can do, but I would suggest doing this when you're going to be out of the day because um, this is spin right. I've got something else. It's called it's a uh, Western Digital. Fuck, I forgot something Western Digital. I forgot what it's called. Um, but what that does is kind of it's a different version of that, but it's, that that's been updated. The one I got's old uh, for for software, but that one though, what that will do for you is uh, spin right. You get it, you download it. What it does is it goes sector by sector, cluster by cluster through your computer, and it checks every single file. If there is anything wrong, like a scratch on a disc, right? Like some, like something's been like scratched and it can't read it. And every time it reads it, it crashes, right? It will detect that during the spin right. It won't crash by doing it. It'll crash and give you an error report, and it'll let you know that hey, this many sectors is bad on your disc. And you can do that to both of them. But I'm gonna tell you now, don't do that tonight unless you don't plan on getting on for about 24 hours. Because if it goes through your whole hard drive, dude, it takes 12 to 24 hours, if not sometimes longer, to do a full. Uh, thing like that because it goes through every freaking file what is okay i'm looking at an a whatever event uh afd is says closing a udp udp socket with local port number such uh five six eight nine seven in process thirty two sixteen is taking longer than expected local port number may not be available until the close operation is completed this happens typically due to misbehaving network drivers. Ensure latest updates are installed for Windows and, and any third-party networking software, including NIC drivers, firewalls, or other security products. This is where I have like gone into and like, like, can I show you? I'll update my drivers. I'll do this live right now with you guys. Yeah, because uh. You got to think, man. Like uh, that UDP and uh, was it TCP? They're just um, different ways for different networks and stuff to communicate. So, I mean, that that's nothing huge, but that means a game or something you've done was you want to use that port, and it wasn't able to go through that port, like something blocked it or whatever, right? That's all that means. But that's a software. That would be software. Because okay. a port is virtual. Somebody's saying to use WinDebug, or it's WinDBG. It's a program that's used to diagnose everything. And it's actually... Oh, Microsoft. SFC scan now? I can do that right now, guys. I just did this the other day. We're checking port software. Windows has determined the driver's software for your device is up to date. It's up to date. Okay. You said you can't open the browser? Nope. I can't open the browser whatsoever. Like, Google Chrome is still trying to close. Can you pass files through TeamSpeak? I don't know. N never tried. And you yes, may have to have permissions here on the TeamSpeak. Now I know I have Skype... I hate Skype with a pass. Cobb's not normal Skype. He uses up a lot of uh, yeah, data, it's but too much, too too many resources, resources to hogs. use it. Yeah. Like I know a bunch of people that use it when they. I'm like, why? Why not? What's wrong with Team speaking shit like that? So I was your me day, Blood Crow. Ah, uh, pretty good. Played a few games, did some stuff around the house. Masturbated furiously. Who doesn't like to do that? You know. Yeah, no, I understand. I understand. Yeah, football to kitten down the hallway. That was a 
a fluffy sight to see. Oh, I thought you said kid first. <laughs> I could have done that too. <laughs> Alright, let's run that FSF SFC scan now. Well, I'll be back in a bit, game two, dude. I'm, I'm gonna let you get through that because I know how you feel, bro. You remember that time when I was trying to first build, build your computer and uh, remember my Chrome wouldn't work at all, none of my browsers would work. It took me like what a week to figure that shit out, and I can't, I can't yeah. remember what I did. Yeah. No, so I know you feel, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish watching this, and depends on if I can go to sleep or not. I may stream. I don't know. All right, blood. Oh bro. yeah, like I was gonna say too, blood. If you're ever gonna be up late, let me know because I'm Pacific time. And I stay up till like two or three in the morning my time, so I'm always up, do, ain't doing shit late nights. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing I'm, games and stuff. Me, it depends. Like I try to stream in the morning. But oh, I know you just, can't do it often. I'm just saying when you're gonna love me. Yeah. All right. I will. <laughs> ah, so I downloaded this file. I'm gonna try to see if I can now. put it in Teamspeak for you. Yeah, this will take some time, but I've done this before. Like, here we go. Also, did my title change and so did my game, or no? Because usually this takes about five to ten minutes for me tops, which is really nice. Like, this gives me time to go take a piss, come back, and keep asking questions for you. What? So do you guys got any questions like while I'm just like hanging out and just chilling? Kind of, I'm reading different posts about like the t same type of problems you're having. <laughs> and the biggest one I'm getting is to run this WinDBG, it's a Windows 8 debugging program or something like that. It's supposed to... Go through is and it, test everything and see where your is it inside uh, Windows 8? No, but I just got it off the Microsoft website, and I was trying to see if there's a way I can send it to you through TeamSpeak. Like, I have my Skype up and running, and I could send you my Skype info if yeah, you have Skype, because then I could receive the files. Yeah, let me start Skype. I'm not a hoarder. I literally downloaded only the games that we're going to be playing. So I downloaded... Uh, the first four Final Fantasies that I have on Steam and then like a handful of small games evolves the biggest game I got on here. You should never have a problem in, 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 until your hard drives are like getting close to full. You should never have a problem with shit like that. Yeah, and even before I did a clean install, I had uh, my first hard drive was running at like 10 gigs away from being maxed out. And my computer was running way faster than this and actually not having problems. <laughs> yeah, I'm a hoarder with my game cartridges. I understand. Um, I'm quite literally just saving them for admin purposes. So, like, if there's a troll song, I'll spend my own 500 to skip. I'll, you know, I'll spend 500 of my game cartridges. If there's, uh, you know, songs that I want to play because no one's using uh, song requests then hell yeah, I'm going to put up a whole bunch of fucking songs that I want to hear. Um, which is also why uh, Scott Plants trolled me one day. I had a bunch of my own choices, and he kept actually running, skipping my choices just because he was like, I don't care about using game cartridges. Let's just skip everything you have. I was like, oh, thanks. such a request thing on Skype. You got trolled by Scott Plant. Oh man! Yeah, well, he is a troll mod, but he's he's a really cool dude. And it was like he he couldn't stand the uh, game music, 
and I understand that. But he let go. He let my uh, electronic dance music go, uh, even though he can't stand that either, due to the fact that it wasn't game music. It was created content. And I, I'm like, all right, cool. At least you didn't go through all of my songs, because I like some of the game. I like a lot of video game mixes, uh, like the Persona series. Huge fan. Did you get my invite and file on Skype? Give me a minute with all this. Skype is being slow. All right, there you go. Um, I don't see anything. Anthony Butler, right? Yeah. Yeah, that sends a friend request and a file. Oh, I haven't received anything yet. Maybe you <laughs> have to accept that. Um, send me your info on the uh, TeamSpeak, and I'll uh, I'll go look. It's my TeamSpeak name, four two zero two. And this is you, Doja. Yeah. I was making sure it wasn't Shino. No, mine my, my, my is my real name. So. <laughs> you said what were the numbers? Four two oh two zero two four two zero two. Four twenty twice a day. <laughs> nice. You know. And I need to stop smoking so much because earlier, when he when he was streaming, I was trying to click on his stream to open a file on my computer. <laughs> yeah, I hate <laughs> like, that. This shit ain't working. What's going on? Here? <laughs> yeah, you might need to cut back just a tiny bit. I've I've caught myself doing that when I'm watching other streamers. I'm like, like I'll have my mouse on my main screen, and I'll be like clicking my ass off on the uh, Twitch channel because I'll have it in like theater mode. I'm like, why is it not? Oh yeah, that's right. I have it in uh, regular mode. The SDK setup. Yeah. I've never had that problem. Oh my god. You don't smoke enough then. I don't smoke at all. Damn non smokers. It's not that I wouldn't. It's one illegal in Florida and two. I yeah, I remember job, I know where you live. Of, and most of them run, run drug tests on you, so. Yeah. yeah. And Florida will be probably one of the last that will ever have legal marijuana. <laughs> Sucks probably, for my sister, like I say, yeah, she lives in Pensacola and she needs that shit. <laughs> To pass to pass votes in Florida anymore, it's sixty four percent instead of fifty one. Even though the vote to make it to make Whoa. laws pass by sixty four percent only passed by fifty one. Okay, Wait, which man, is why Google Chrome needs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight processes. Do you have any? Uh, it always does background that. Background applications on Chrome. You said what? Any like plugins for Chrome or anything like that? Yeah, I have plugins. Yeah, those extra ones are probably the plugins from Chrome that are running. Oh, okay, makes sense now. I hope better Twitch TV didn't screw up because if that's the case, then I could just get rid of that plugin and have everything run smooth. But then we wouldn't see. All of the sweet Twitch plugins that you can use with the better Twitch TV. Yeah, I have Chrome up and it's showing seven, seven of them. Even though I just have three tabs in Chrome open. Xant, I tried stopping all instances in Google Chrome currently right now. And two of them will stay up right now. Two. For no that's reason. A, well, the, no, that's a plug. If you look. When you were doing your uh, startup through the... Well, it's right there. Hit startup. Oh, you're on the startup. See? Oh, yeah, Google Chrome. You got another one, that plug-in one. I seen it earlier. So you got some other Google Pro... Oh, right there, Google Toolbar Notifier. Yeah, I don't even know what that. this is or where it came from, but I have it disabled. Yeah, I don't use any toolbars. 
But like you said, there's ones for Twitch and stuff or whatever that you use. Yeah, and I'm thinking that's the better Twitch TV one. And I, honestly, or I don't that think could be any from Deepbot, for all I know. I, don't, I doubt Chrome's any of the problem. Granted, when you click Chrome, it Chrome just won't be running when you turn the computer on. But when you go to use it, then you'll let it do its thing, and then it'll be all good. Look, 100% verification. Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. That's from the one I just sent you? The SFC scan. No. That was the SFC scan now in the oh. command prompt. Looking through the games on Steam, there's one called Dark Wood. So many jokes you can make with that. Is it a black porn game? Uh, I think it's supposed to be like a horror game or something. Horror, survival, indie adventure. So there's never know what you're going to find with a uh, survival adventure game. Yeah, I know what you mean, Xanth. It's just like... And who knows where they're going to fit the horror. Yeah, and guys, so, you know. when I'm not streaming, this is what I'm dealing with. It's either I'm posting stuff on Twitch and Facebook and YouTube, or I'm looking at Twitch, or, you know, I'm spending time with my family. Nine times out of ten, though, when I am late, this is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm trying to find out why stuff is broken on Windows. And usually it's like, oh, a game doesn't want to work. I'll just Google all of the problems or I'll go to PC Gaming Wiki uh, and, you know, they'll have fixes. And it's like, oh, okay, if I do this, this, and this and change settings in the files, then okay, games work. Well, now that doesn't even help my problems. Let's look at Task Manager. Okay, I'm not really using much of anything. Like, what is this console window host? What is this? No clue. Yeah, but that's the thing. You pretty much got to leave Windows stuff going. <laughs> even though Windows is your problem, you know, closing their shit is just going to cause even more problems. Windows problem <laughs> reporting? All right, I'm still sitting here, like, clicking the crap out of this Google Chrome, and even the Google Chrome is not closing out. That's odd. I've had problems with shit opening, I've never had problems with shit closing. Hey, I think I fixed Google Chrome. See, I can, like, verbally threaten my computer and it starts to work right. So, I don't know. What do you do? Tell it you're going to put it through a grinder? Tell it I'm going to take it out in the street and beat it like a man. <laughs> I wish I could tell my computer that. <laughs> it's oh, literally should. worked sometimes because I've, I've gotten so mad. And I, I can't get like that. I can't 
get mad at physical girls so I can get in a lot of trouble. You should have seen like uh, what me and my friend did to his old computer. We actually blew the thing up. It was so fun. I've actually spent my computer money like three times over for uh, repairs <sighs> on my apartment. For One time I knocked the whole rafters out because I have a 400 pound heavy bag that I knocked out of the ceiling. Did you try that program I sent you? It was still trying to ins uh, do whatever, like open or run. Oh, is it, they won't even send it to you? No, I have it, but it's like trying to run. Oh, you got it on a different Well, you better cut off the flakes first. So now I wonder which program this is in the... Uh, Menu, technically. You can always try to ask Reddit. Reddit can fix anything. Oh, but there's so many I trolls. I gotta use Reddit. the internet. You said you had a laptop you used for school, right? Yeah, but I still gotta, like, get everything out. Mm. Like, I just, I feel like I shouldn't have to pull out a, a laptop to make my desktop run. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I shouldn't be having this shit happen, guys. And this is, like, the one thing that I hate most. Is I have to deal with this crap. Like, people are going to look at my Twitch page and be like, Man, he has a lot of broadcasts in, like, 40, you know, 40 broadcasts in two hours. What was this guy doing? Why are they several seconds long? Well, because of friggin' Windows 8. get a lot of viewers if you changed your title of your stream to you know Windows 8 problem at Windows 8.1 problem Windows help issues me. how do we fix this help me playing help me. Windows 8.1 <laughs> did it update to that guys cuz that's what I have it set as and I had freaking uh deepbot update Like, it won't even load Google Chrome. That's how bad this update was. I want to be sure I understand this correctly. When you boot it up, you did not open Chrome. It was running and just fracked up. Yes, Xanth, yes. F and bomb game key phone. playing Windows 8 sucks on the bearded nation. I know. I've been playing Windows 8 for nine months, guys. Um, quite literally, it's been the 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 bane of evil of my existence. It's definitely the hardest game I've heard of people playing. Yeah. There's no way to Everyone win, man. Got problems with it. Even it was Windows 8 is so hard. That the Windows, you know, Windows gave up on playing it. Yeah. I mean, the developers don't even like this because it's so bad. Like, there should just be, like, a huge refund for it. Well, that's why they're doing the whole 10 thing. Because <laughs> they gave up on 8. Wait, like, and Google we better Chrome just closed when I hit the X you know, button? 
You, you, you know what's funny is the fact that they skipped nine. Nine is actually in reference due to Windows 95. It's marked as nine, like the first digit. And when you go to use Windows 9 in the registry, it triggers Windows 95. So they actually had to skip it and go to 10. So technically, wow. if you want to think about it, we've gone through every single Windows possible, even Windows 9, because it's attached so to 95. Work? So we'd be going back in time if we went to 95, and then we're like, oh, Windows 10, the future. So how did Windows 98 work then? It triggers off of the Windows 9 registry as well. But... 98 but it's in that 9 category that's about my head it don't make no sense alright okay windows 8 is too OP please nerf it if I could nerf it I would I'm not going to be loud jeez calm down Okay. Well, my PC is pretty much ruined the day, guys. I mean, I loved Life is Strange, but now I'm going to have to clean install everything. Let's get my hard drive. We'll do this live. My awesome external hard drive my passport it's a uh, 500 gig I bought it for like 20 bucks or whatever yeah I wish really hard I could go to your place and work on it hands-on. I know I could fix it. I hear you, Xanth. Hey, Game Key, can't you buy Windows 8 or 7 operation disk and reinstall it that way? Um, yeah, I can. Guess what? I have them. Like, check this out, guys. Oh, not this disc. Actually, another disc. That's actually... Where did I put it? Ah, here we go. There's my Windows 8.1 64-bit reinstallation disk. And then... I have my my ATI my Radeon you know I have my motherboard disk for my motherboard and then I have my driver's disk you know, you know motherboard disk driver's disk and then I just update my drivers um, this one is for the power supply unit, though, and that's if I want auto shutdown. <laughs> Sir, you is very off topic at the moment. Um, oh, talking to Lol guy. What is Low Guy saying? Um, Xenoverse is already going to be releasing the final DLC pack on June 6th. That's cool. Wish I could play it.
Let's see, I'm like over here reading chat now. Let's see. Um, I tend to do that. Uh, mother of boards, Kappa. Don't bother with your ATI driver disc. Yeah, I know, right? Power supply has a disc. Um, it, it's it's an APC unit. Basically, if it detects that I'm losing power, um, when it because the APC unit actually reverts to a battery, the computer picks up on that. The software picks up on that, and it immediately begins shutting down my computer. Yeah, I just download the uh, the driver straight from the AMD's website. But when I'm on my laptop. Hmm. So yeah, I couldn't even install that uh, that program. The debugging one? Yeah, like I'm trying it again. And I'm waiting for it to, to work. I even clicked it. It almost sounds like a virus too. <laughs> Did you download anything today besides that update? No. Well, you, you you know Game Key and all the porn he likes to download. Oh yeah, you know copious amounts of uh, you know porn from Steam. Don't worry. Oh yeah. That that, that that's some really good porn that you get from there, man. Like, like, I can't use anything. I'm probably going to have to clean install. All right, so where's my hard drive at? There it is. Let's get this hard drive going so we can, uh, you know, get this going now. And then, you know, I don't know, frickin' six hours from now, I'll be able to, like, maybe stream and, like, do something cool. Uh, it'll be laid back, unfortunately, and it'll just be like, yeah, we're not going to play a game until I uninstall the one game that's on my PC. If it takes, you know, three hours to download, then so be it. The stream will just be down for three hours. Or I could just leave the stream up, and then we could have so many problems with dropping frames that it's just like this all over again. Maybe that's what we'll do for the stream. Because people will miss me crashing and raging out so much. We'll just like download stuff while we're streaming. So we just drop frames like a champ. Windows. Help me. Like twenty five hundred dollars, guys, and my computer feels like a giant freaking paperweight. Xantha saying go to MS Config again. That's what again. I'm seeing. I think we can get off here for a little bit. Gonna watch some anime. And fap, you nasty bastard. You know it, dude. You gotta beat You're it like it owes you money sometimes. User left your channel. So I do I should I boot in safe mode minimal, alternate shell, active directory repair, network, no GUI boot, boot log, base video, OS boot info. Like that's what boot options I have for safe boot.
Yeah, no, right, guys? Foobar, thanks, man. Like, like this is what you guys see now are the problems that I've been having for several months, and everything online I've troubleshooted and done. And Windows basically is, like, giving me the giant middle finger. Like, I don't like what I'm seeing because everybody else can run DeepBot. Everyone else can run Diablo 3. They can run OBS or XSplit. How come I can't do that very well on my computer? How come my computer just randomly crashes? And then I'm being told, oh, my drivers are corrupt. Okay, I, re I uninstall and reinstall them. Oh, well, then your, uh, your uh, log files, your, your registry is corrupt then. Okay, well, I do a clean install. Oh, well, my registry is corrupt again from installing my my uh, graphics card drivers? Is, is, is that it? Because, I mean, I can continue to uninstall and reinstall my, my graphics card drivers, guys. I can do this all day long. I have... I have time all summer long. I can do this for weeks. I can do this for a couple of months. And Windows will always tell me to uninstall and reinstall my drivers. I'm using Windows 8.1. And yes, it is the answer to everything. I mean, we we knew we would have to update to Windows, and, and we knew we would have to uh, constantly push out the new software update so that way we could play all of our brand new games. And, and, and then we, we decided, oh, well, we got to do that because we, we can't be streamers if we don't push out all the new content, including the updates on Windows. And, and then Windows said, yeah, we don't care. Soft Raider, I completely believe you that Windows 8.1 is just a money grabber. Because I was running Windows 8 on my computer first, and then I got forced into a Windows 8.1 update. I got forced. Window, yeah, it's pretty much, it's dead already. They know they fucked up. <laughs> like, like, guys, when I go offline with this particular stream, it's going straight to YouTube. To show you guys what I've been doing. I'm putting the whole thing in its entirety. They're going to break it up into like two hour segments. But guess what? People are going to be like, holy shit. Not to get Windows 8.1 or Windows 8. Or possibly never getting a Windows product again. I mean, there is Linux, right? There is Mac, right? How come Windows hasn't fixed this shit? How come Windows 7 worked? Am I right? Yeah, I just go back to seven. <laughs> Am I too loud? Yeah. Well, guys, looks like I'm gonna have to mute, and I'll just type to you guys in the in the chat. I mean, Windows 8 didn't even last a year, did it? I I don't I don't know at all.
I mean, what do you, what, what do you guys think? I wonder if Windows even uses their newest system. They're probably still like running Windows 95 just so they don't have to deal with any problems. And then like the workers go home and they're like, oh, we got a problem with Windows 8.1. Oh, well, we have a disk that fixes all of that. And they're just like, master key. All right, Xanth, I'm going to try that network safe boot right now, and I'll be right back. I'll stay until you speak, man. All right, I'm going to end up uh, having to restart, so I'm going to shut down the stream, so that way this saves to uh, Twitch, and then, you know, we'll go from there. It's crazy that I can use programs that use the Internet, but I can't use the Internet. <laughs> or at least for browsing purposes alright be right back guys be right back thank you Xanth 